Hi everyone. Uh, welcome back. So today we will see how to set the permanent class path. So if you want to run the Java applications, first of all, you need to set the class path. So either you can go with the temporary class path or permanent class path, temporary or permanent class path. Anything you can go. Okay. But temporary, if you're choosing the temporary class path, every time while you're running the Java programs, so while connecting with the database, you need to uh, set the path in the command prompt. So in the command prompt, you have to use the set class path. Class path is equal to. So there the percentile. Percentile class path. Okay, so dot and and here you have to give your path. So whatever the wherever your database application is there. So that so and the lib uh, a lib folder uh, there the O J O J D B C. Uh, so six jar file a jar file is there so that you have to be give. So this is the setting of the temporary path. So whenever you are running the Java application, so every time you have to set the class path. Otherwise, you will get an exception. Okay. So class not found exception will be occurred every time. If you didn't set the class path, then every time it is used to show the uh, exception. Class not found exception will be occurred. Means the Java drivers will not be up uh, connected. So now, uh, so to overcome this problem, try to make a permanent path, permanent class path. So how to set the permanent class path? So that I'll explain now. Right? Okay. So now let's see how to set the permanent class path. So first of all, open your uh, file explorer. So there, this PC, right click on this PC, go with the properties. So right click on this PC and go with the properties. So in the properties, uh, you have to select the advanced system settings. So this see here, this is the advanced system settings. So click on advanced system settings. So a, a tab will be opened. So now here, what you have to do is go with advanced tab. Advanced tab. In the advanced tab, click on environment variables. So environment variable. So here you can see user variables for and the system variables. User variables are there as well as the system variables are there. Okay. So system variables, you are not supposed to change anything. These are all while you are installed the operating system. These are the fixed. If you try to delete anything means some programs will not be work. So go with the user uh, variables. Check here. Is there any class path is already exist here? Any class path? Suppose if the class path variable is already present here under this user variable, under this user variable, if class path is already present, okay, then select the, that class path, whatever the class path is there. Suppose here the class path is there. So already present, then click on the class path and click on the edit button, okay, and click on here. So click on uh, the new button. So here click on the new button. Select one path and click on the new button. They try to copy this. Whatever the uh, path that it is there, that you have to be copied. If the class path is already present, if the class path is already present, so suppose, uh, so where, where is my, let me check. Uh, so in the C drive, in the C drive. So while I'm installing my Oracle software, I had re rename it as DB underscore home. So in the DB underscore home, so I'll go with the JDBC. So JDBC, this is my path. So in your uh, folder, so whatever the version, so this is I installed the Oracle 19C uh, software. So suppose whatever the software you have installed, the Oracle 18 and whatever the uh, Enterprises Editions or Express Edition, mine is Oracle 19C Enterprises Edition. Suppose if you install the Express Edition, the path will be different. But these locations, JDBC, lib, the last three will be the same. JDBC, lib, and you have to enter the jar file. OJDBC8 underscore G jar file. Okay. So these, uh, based on your uh, editions, enterprises editions and uh, express editions, these will be different. But 
the last three whatever i said jdbc leap and the jar file should be same for all the systems the path those three will be same for all the systems so the before thing whatever it is there in the windows c wherever uh, whatever the name you have given and then uh, some people is having the app folder okay in the oracle folder and there is an app folder will be there under the app folder again the oracle folder will be there again that product will be there 11.2.0 server is there and then jdbc will come jdbc in the server jdbc folder will be there so in the jdbc lib folder will be there so in the lib you are having a jar file our main motto here is we have to find the jar file so you need to select that path so okay so just uh, go with the db and then jdbc okay and then lib and try to copy this okay after copying you have to give the ojdbc 8 underscore g also okay try to copy this i had copied this okay so what i said if class path is already present then click on that class path then go with the edit button okay and then go with a new button and try to paste here paste here whatever the path you have selected that you paste and give ojdbc hyphen uh, backslash ojdbc whatever the jar file is there mine is 8 underscore g dot jar file you have to be entered okay but in my system there is no class path here in the users variable there is no class path then what i have to if the class path variable does not exist under user variable then click on the new button so try to click new here okay i clicked then what i have to give the variable name here you have to give the class path the variable name you have to give as a class path okay i had given the variable name as a class path then what about the variable value the variable value is you have to paste this location in the c folder db underscore home so uh, database underscore home there is my jdbc folder so under jdc folder a lib folder will be there there my ojdbc 8 underscore jar file is there right or wrong so see here here db jdbc lib underscore this folder ojdbc 8 underscore g this is a jar file that you have to be entered so click on if the class path is not present click on new and the variable name is the class path and the variable value is paste that location and hyphen ojdbc8 underscore uh, sorry underscore g underscore g dot jar file underscore g dot jar file okay so click on okay and then click on again okay so now the path is set okay so now the path is see here again click on environment well see here this is already the path is set so now you can able to run your java programs easily you can easily run the java programs so the user variables are specific to user whereas the system variables are common to all users system variables are common to all users so this is how you have to set the permanent class path settings while you want to work on the java applications if you want to connect your java applications and the database the first thing is we need to set the class path you can go either with the temporary class path or permanent class path setting okay so tem permanent class uh, temporary class path i had shown you uh, just in the starting or else uh, you just watch my previous videos there i'll explain how to set the class path temporarily also okay while i explain on the drivers so this is about the the permanent class path setting now start working on your java programs then you you are able to execute your java programs very easily okay i hope you understand how to set this uh, permanent class path setting still if you are facing any problem on uh, setting the class path please mention in the comment box i will help you thank you